All right, so here we are. Initiatives have been rolled, and looks like I'll see you're up first. You have all, all right, these so goblins charging towards you. I can pull out a dagger and a shuriken for free action. I don't use, uh, I don't, I don't use that layer there, Ken. And uh, I will move. I use lighting to for everything. this area. I don't to use stay in uh, the shadows. I don't use the fog anymore. And I shall throw a shuriken. Uh, with a sky flourish. Whoa. It's melee or ranged. And it's dex versus AC. So and is that I an hit, at will? Uh, yes, it is an at will. Okay. Nice. So you're mimics your little and, <laughs> Yeah, I got one of those roll rings, by the way, Dave. Uh, also have first strike ability for start of encounter. You have combat advantage against. Gotta get my dice out! Yeah. Active in the encounter. Got to get my dice out, guys. And I'm looking for one more thing. I'm getting out my lucky twenty-sided too, so I can. All right. Okay. So do some damage to these guys. Sneak attack, combat advantage. So it would be first strike and sneak attack together. And if I hit, then I do like stupid damage. <laughs> Well, you are stupid. That is a 1d6. There. How about that one? Uh, as you throw, you miss the the goblin. You threw it at this goblin here, I take it, right? Did we decide what combat advantage was? Well, combat advantage, I believe, in 4th edition is a plus 2, correct? Alright, so it should be... 14 instead yeah. of that. Yeah, it's 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 still going to be a miss. So even with the That's fine with me. Yep. So you throw the shuriken and the shuriken sticks into the goblin shield. And I stupidly miss. Next. Right. So Batista. You're up. All right. I'm going to tell the party to kind of stay together. I'm going to advance up to this little broken piece here and uh, try to get these guys to follow with me and form a defensive line. Okay. Oh, oh, oh one more thing, guys. Uh, you guys should all know how to use the movement and everything. Now, when you guys are moving through rubble and stuff, that's going to be half movement. So, Because that is just, you know, it's bad terrain. So that that's just in the fourth edition rules. And also, now that we have the actual, the ruler that we can use to do placement points, we need to use that instead of just using a straight line. I can, yes, I don't mind doing a straight line if there's no obstacles in the way. But in a room like this, you're, you sure, you can still use a straight line, but you're going to only get half movement going through the, through the heavy rubble. Now, this stuff that you guys are in right now, that's light rubble. I'm not worried about that. But I'm, I'm talking about the heavier rubble like this, you know, the, the fallen pillar and the other large, you know, chunks of, of concrete that are in the room, so... Does uh, dead enemies and allies count towards heavy rubble? Do, does the what count towards heavy rubble? Uh, dead allies and enemies? No, you, the allies and stuff, you just pass right through your allies as far as I remember reading about No, but them. I mean, if, if, if they are dead. Oh, well that's something that we'll, we'll come across if we ever get to that point. But okay, yeah, I, I, that'll, I it'll probably work like that, yes. Like like last session when you had the the dead goblins and stuff on the ground, you guys suffered a movement penalty as well for that. So yeah, okay, cool. But yep. All right, and I'm ready my sword as I step up to this position, and uh, basically yelling towards Smash on the line, uh, get a good dig pitch position with the divine strength that I'm using, applying strength modifiers to extra damage for your next attacks. So form a defense position, holding my shield up, ready for these goblins. Okay, so you used uh, what did you use again? What what power it's did you use? Divine strength. Uh, I was looking at the that for you. the wrong sheet there. There it is for you. 
Well, I don't think you on need next turn. You, or well, on my next just attack, an, uh, next turn. Yeah, that's an encounter turn. power, so yeah. You don't have it's to actually roll right. for it. You just, you know. No, I'm, I'm setting it up for you so you know what it is for next attack. It's a defense basically yeah. for me and my allies. Sounds good. How about we put like a little, a little icon on there to uh, remind us? How about this nice double swords cross? That'll mean that you're getting your attack bonus for next round. Sounds good. Okay. So let's see. You've moved. Uh, we'll say that you uh, you actually have one quarter cover as well, Batista. Uh, Shamash, you're up now. Shamash is pulling his great axe and moving. All right. Good position, maybe behind that big rock. Is that a really big rock right there, Davis? No, it's it's just it doesn't just rubble. have any yeah it doesn't have any kind of cover, no cover value for that. But just you know because you have you know a large actually broken part of the ceiling in front of you, you're actually be able to you know get quarter cover, but it's it's not much. Okay, so are you doing anything else? That's that's it there, Smash. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. So this first. All right. Goblin number one is going to hurl a javelin at Alcine. Uh, he was taken to the shuriken that stuck to his uh, shield. So he is going to attack. 22 versus armor class. I think that's probably a hit. And damages. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. I only had 17. Whopping 3 damage. Minimum damage. <laughs> Alright, the next goblin, which is right here. Uh, the lucky recipient of a spear is Shamash. And you are being a, having a. A javelin chucked your way as well, and that is a 14 versus armor class. Is that a miss? Or a That's hit? a miss. Okay, so there you go. Uh, next up is this goblin here, the Goblin Skull Reaver, and he is going to make a move. And you notice he moves weird as well. Like he's on rollerblades. All right, he's able to move right there. Did you guys see the movement on that? Yeah. Okay. Just uh, letting you know. And he is also going to throw a spear. Shit, and I dropped a six sided. Call Trop! Call Trop! That's a fumble. That was right under my chair. That would have really fucked me up if I stepped on it. Damn, that would have sucked. Alright, looks like uh, Batista, you're the lucky recipient of the randomized D6. And is a 17 enough to hit Batiste? Uh, shield will block. Alright. You actually have a, a javelin stick into your shield, a small little javelin, boom, as you, you know, you're able to actually shake it off and it, it falls off of your shield. All right, so now the next goblin is a, another Skull Reaver. And he, for now, he is just commanding his, his wolves to move forward to attack. And uh, the... Gonna need a charisma check. Goblin Hexer uh, is going to command his wolves as well, or hounds, I guess you could say. Alright, so now we're going to go to the hounds. Release the hounds! No. Hello there, don't. Blockthane. This is 4th edition. We're new at 4th edition, so if every little rule isn't perfect, uh, I apologize about it, but we are new to 4th edition. Uh, I'm a 
more into D and D next. So, but this is a pretty good addition. All right. So the wolves are. Let's see. I had to double check their movement. So, wow, they have a hell of a movement. And the attack on you with the first wolf is nineteen. That's a hit. All right, you take two damage, flat two damage. The second wolf is going to move as well. Cheers. And he is going to attack. Wow, he hits as well for two damage. That was a 22 versus armor class. All right. All right, and now this, this dog here is going to run through. And attack Alcine and a eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen versus your armor class. Miss. All right, and the, the final dog. Barely enough, and he's going to attack Tamanook. And Tamanook, that is a 13 versus armor class. Yeah, I know. I have Tell a me about 15. Alright, well, you're safe then. That hound uh, snapped at you, and. I actually have 16. No, wait, no, I don't. Sorry, 15. We, we need to get some more alcohol on you tonight. You don't seem like you've had enough yet. <laughs> Just because I'm actually answering you <laughs> coherently, <laughs> yeah, right? All right, Tomanuk, it's your your turn now. Okay. Um, well, I don't like this dog, so I can't try to kill it. That would be a way. great idea. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cast. Um, Wrath of Winter. Thank you, everybody, for checking out the stream tonight as well. I so appreciate it's it. A seventeen versus. We are playing um, fourth edition. Fortitude. All right, I'm going to do a fortitude check. Do you make fortitude sec checks? Well, Isn't the fortitude a set value? Yes. So it says, uh, your penguin pecks at the target for, oh, okay, for 17 versus fortitude. Okay, all right, my bad. Yeah. yeah, so you hit, the fortitude is low, and you do five cold damage, and this dog dies. This minion oh, is and, dead. Oh, uh, and so that would be a hit? Yes, that is in, definitely in, a hit. Mm -hmm. In which case, I'm going to do a little bonus. Okay, it doesn't matter because he only had one HP anyway, so... It, it's not a, a damage bonus. Okay. I get to teleport, uh, boom, within five feet. So I'm going to put him there. Oh, okay. That's right. Just, to give the just other because party it's members. flashy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. Alright, so this first dog is dead, and I'm going to put a, a red line through him. That'll mean that he is dead. So nice job. Right off the bat, man. Tomanook draws first blood. <laughs> Back to the top of the order, and I'll see you are up now. And thanks, guys, well, for I'm watching gonna the channel. Uh, I appreciate just it. Pull out my short sword, and I'm going to whack this dog. Hope with, you guys uh, enjoy, wa enjoy watching the game from uh, the player's perspective. A repose strike. All right. On the dog. And it must be a light blade. 
turn one crazy dex versus AC. And here we go. And if you guys are enjoying it, please hit the follow button. And I do stream three games a week. And this weekend. That was a 20. That is definitely hit, and you basically kill the dog because it is a one hit point minion. <laughs> so need no need to uh, roll the actual damage. All right. So All right. So I'm gonna. Can I take movement? Absolutely. You can do whatever you want. So yeah, this this Sunday I'm doing a viewer game. So if you guys are interested in playing in a viewer game this Sunday. Uh, please be here whenever I start streaming, and I'll take the first I'll move there. four people into the game, and we're going to play a, a quick game of D&D next, way. about three did or it four move hours. Like I wanted it to, or did it just go right there? Yeah, you just you move right. As long as you're within your movement, I don't care if you go around three times, as long as you use your maximum well, movement. Well, I was trying to movement line, but it didn't come out that way. Uh, just a quick question. The sin uh, in uh, adjacent is five feet or closer. Five feet. Right? It should be yeah. no ten yeah. feet because ten feet. yeah, it should be ten feet if I'm not mistaken because one square is ten foot in D and D four point zero. So as long oh. as you're within one square, it, it in all reality it should be ten feet unless there's some hidden rule like half level that it it says five feet somewhere. But I don't know, Evan. Is there anything like that in there? Uh, the only thing is, uh, a square in 4.0 is 5 feet. Okay. Okay. So Alright, so 5 feet then. Feet. I was off 5 feet. Okay. So my bad. I'll, it would have been marvelous otherwise. Uh, like, goddamn half <laughs> rule really threw me off. Half level. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah, you got, uh, half movement. Well, anyway, it, I, I, the dog movement that attacked you, Tamanook, it was twice its movement, but that's okay. He uses action anyway to get to you, so. It's okay. He died. He died anyway, so it looks like not like he he killed a uh, boom or anything. No, uh, I don't think he would have actually. Take it easy there, <laughs> Swift Dagger. Thanks for watching, man. Yeah, this is a pretty big dungeon, so. It's okay. Boom can come back. He can't actually be killed. No, oh, he can't. And the way this is a a dungeon tile set by Greg Taylor as well. The dungeon arts. Uh, the the guy that I give tile packs away. Yeah, this is one of his packs. That, I think uh, this is a dungeon pack no. too. Really nice pack. Moved. Has a lot of shadows and stairs and, and all it's, kinds of stuff. Uh, on the Batista. All right, here we go. All right, Batista, you're up. I just realized I screwed up, but never mind. Continue. That's no problem. Right, we're so learning we're the rules right. anyway, so yeah. don't sweat Let's it. Step up in front of this here. Uh, up chow here. I want to get a measurement here real quick, see what I can do. All right. Just outside tag on. Wow! Thank you, Necro Baby, nineteen seventy-three, Tangerine, and Mikhail. Thank you for the follows, everyone. Uh, I really appreciate it. And close to two. the edge. Really appreciate the follows, y'all. With the uh, Mikhail, Sunday I'm doing a viewer game. Turn. So, if you've never Protecting played, it doesn't mode. matter. I don't Smash. discriminate on new players. So, the hobby needs more, <laughs> you know, needs more players. So, all right. So that is actually that's, believe it or not, that is a hit. G G. But it's an on the on the dog, right? On the dog, yes. Yeah, that's a hit. And you basically, you expend the might, so I will take that from you, and the dog dies, because the dog had basically one HP, so. I will whisper yeah, to the me. ring, hey, do you like dog meat? Ah! He sure. can't hear me, or he can hear me, he... but he can't talk to me, so I'm just like, okay. Alright, so now you have another dead minion, and you're back here. Sorry, I had to move your token. That's fine. Um, yeah, uh, uh, you can go on my He's website, Mikhail, <laughs> and go to my forums, and you can read on the forums <laughs> under viewer games, and it'll tell you what you need to have for to play in the games. So, and you can find everything on my forums. 
and you can get to my website from right below the screen here on the on the widget you got anything else you need to do there Batista that's trying to uh, divine uh, challenge the guy in front of me there and <clears> on <throat> his uh, turn he'll get the uh, penalty but I already tax so that's my action for that turn okay so Shamash like is up now, right? Take a free action and just stroke the ring a little bit. <laughs> My precious. <laughs> Shamash, you're up, buddy. You got a wolf on you, and you see a bunch of other goblins coming your way. Well, Shamash is going to turn, and uh, after saying nice puppy to this uh, dog in front of him. The nice puppy gonna... that hits you for two damage, Night huh? Nice puppy, and he's gonna swing with reaping strike. Oh Jesus! Reaping strike. That's that will as well, right? That's fucking awesome strike yep. right there, buddy. Yeah, that's that's like hound cleaving head strike. That's like even if he misses, he deals six damage strike. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely a you you crushed him. You basically you you rear back with your axe smash, and you you literally just cut the hound in half, and he wow. he yelps and a little was... bit, and blood is just flying everywhere, man. You you literally <laughs> cut him in two pieces. <laughs> and I rolled a one on the damage. <laughs> oh it, yeah, it doesn't matter because he only had uh, one HP anyway, so he's definitely a dead dead hound as well. And you guys took care of the minions in one round. That's a, that's a good thing. Yay, minions! So I'm gonna I'm gonna remove these hounds out of the turn order real quick, so I don't give them like you know free attacks or anything. I don't I don't know why I'd ever want to do something like that. But. I don't know. All right. So the first goblin doesn't have a spear anymore, but he is going to he's going to charge in. And let's see. I'm still here. I'm just reading something real quick. Man, we're going to have a big old feast for you, Mimic, buddy. Pet. All right. Um, nom, 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 nom. So this this first goblin here on the left hand side, he is going to charge in. And stumble over the rocks, fall on his face, so I can kick him right in it. All right. So he's got plenty of movement. He is going to attack Alcine. And a eight. That's definitely a miss. It was almost right that, that is that is as a miss. Yes, it is. This goblin warrior up here is going to attack. Eeny meeny miny mo. Looks like Shamash, you're the lucky recipient again. And he swings his cleaver at you and misses with an 11. Wow, goddamn. Keep him low, buddy. Yeah, the first goblin here, the skull cleaver, just advances a little bit. Has combat advantage on Batista. Uh, he is flanking him. He gets a plus two. And that is a probably a hit with a 21 plus oh yeah 27 that is a hit and the damage critical. no it wasn't a natural 20 no okay, no. okay good yeah alright so you take a total of I gotta get my 1d100 out for damage but no I'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> I figured you, you would like that. Man, I can't, I can't believe it. I'm totally not even ready tonight. Uh, wow, you actually take 14 damage from that battle axe hit. Wow, that was a that was a pretty vicious hit. 
you seem to be blowing into your microphone a lot, David. Just Who, you, me? You know. Yes. Oh, because the combat's got me hyped up. I'm ready, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hope it's the combat. <laughs> you know, that, that that's the one thing, because I was a very, very, very avid Dark Age of Camelot PvPer, and that is by far the best PvP game of all time, and I'll always love it, and that's why I can't wait for Camelot Unchained. But, it, because back then, everybody used... We played a group of stealthers on the server that I was on, and we would always hunt the walls and stuff and just wait for groups to go through, and then we'd clobber them as stealthers. Well, every time I would see another stealther... I would start breathing hard, and my voice activation would would always pick it up, and then everybody would always say, oh, boy, uh, Dave found somebody, because I start going, I would just <laughs> start breathing hard. <laughs> so anyway, sorry, that was uh, just a little stupid story. But anyways. All right, so he Not got stupid. 14 damage on you. Uh, make sure you take that off your, your bar there, All right. All right. All right. Oh, well, it's weird. It's not updating on mine. Uh, not on mine either. either. Did you hit enter? You gotta do minus. Yes, yes sir. Oh, it's wow, all the 25 weird. on me. Oh, wow. Okay, well, just keep track of it. And okay. let's see. This next Skull Reaver is going to basically move up. Okay, and that is that is his movement for the round. And now the final goblin, which is the actual hexer itself. All right, he is going to cast a spell uh, on Shamash. Man, I keep rolling. You're four, five, and six on the six side, and I just rolled another six. All right, so I am going to need you to. Actually, one second. What is your will? Uh, actually, hold on. What is your fortitude? Uh, Dave, it's it's right on the edge that he's within five feet of uh, Boom, and that would give him a plus one to all of those three. Uh, okay. So, you, you, you're you going to have to rule if it's enough, because it's right on the edge. Uh, I'd say no, actually, but... Well, if it's not if it's not five feet, well, then no. I mean, it, it it sort of depends on where you measure from. If it's from the middle of the token, or from the edge of the token. If it's from the middle, then he's off by a feet. Yeah, it, no, you know what? We'll just go by the middle. It. So yeah, call it's, it it'll it. just call be the it middle. From the beak. The beak is only four eight. Dude. Oh, okay, then that's <laughs> fine. Because realistically, yeah, I mean, technically, sure, the beak, that's fine. Okay, is so that a beak in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? It's both, I'm, David. I'm over here stroking things, and you're talking about beaks in people's pockets. Okay, so what is your... My your my fortitude, fortitude is a 16. Okay, well, I missed. So, uh, you actually... You sense something come over you, but nothing happens of it, and, you know, you, you are facing straight ahead, so you can see that the the hexer or the caster, uh, he was making hand movements and looking directly at you, uh, but you felt a sensation, but nothing happened. I'm going to ask Batista if he just passed wind. <laughs> Tom and Oak, you're up. <laughs> God, man, made for sticky. Dominic, you're up. Good. Oh, I was just going to ask you. It went really quiet. No. Nope. Um, I said you're up. Go for it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. First of all, I'm going to move boom. Oh, wait. Uh, can someone just explain how we did the fancy zigzag movement step by step? Oh, uh, sure. Just select your token, hit the space bar. Move your token to where you want to go, hit the space bar again, go to the next spot, go to the next spot, go to the next spot. That's just how it works. And then every point. And has how do I activate you. it? It's just automatic. Okay, so I just have a yellow arrow pointing. 
I think I made this wrong. <laughs> yeah, you have to hold your mouse button down while you're moving yes. him and then hit yeah. the space yeah, bar every so often. Yeah, I do that as well. 